Let's take a look at basic division using manipulatives like these gems here. I can use objects to help me solve a basic division problem. Let's try solving the problem 18 divided by 3. In this problem, I start with a total of 18 objects. Here, I have 18 gems. I'm going to divide these objects into three equal groups. Here's a good way to make sure my groups stay equal. It's kind of like dividing or dealing cards. One for you, one for you, one for you. So I've started three groups and I'm going to keep going around placing one gem in each group until I've used up all of my 18 gems. One for you, 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 you, one for you, one for you. Only one left. Perfect. That worked evenly. So I can see that I ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, six gems in each group which means that 18 divided by 3 equals 6. Let's take a look at what that would look like if I didn't have even numbers in each group. So this time, I'm starting with 19 gems. This time, I'm using the gems to solve the problem 19 divided by 3. So once again, I'm going to divide up my 19 gems into three equal groups, just like I did last time. I'm doing one at a time in each group to make sure I keep them equal. All right. I have one gem left. I can't put it in this group because then they're not equal. This one now has seven and these only have six. Same problem if I try to put it in this group or this group. I can't put this gem in any of the groups or they won't be even. I just have to set this gem to the side and that gem becomes a remainder. So 19 divided by three is still six. I still just have six gems in each group, but I have a leftover, an extra, a remainder. I have a remainder of one. 19 divided by three equals six remainder one. Let's take a look at dividing using pictures instead of manipulatives. You don't always have objects like gems handy to help you solve a basic division problem. So instead, we can draw a picture to represent a problem. Let's start with 18 divided by three again and see if we can draw a picture to solve this problem. So I'm gonna draw three groups. And then I'm gonna start dividing up 18 dots or lines or whatever I feel like drawing into these three groups. I'm gonna do it the exact same way I did with the manipulatives, with the gems. I'm just gonna use dots and I'm gonna make sure that I count as I go so that I stop when I get to 18 like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, I used up all 18 dots. I can clearly see that I have six in each group. 18 divided by three is six. Let's take a look at 19 divided by three. Once again, I'm dividing 19 up into three equal groups. So I'll draw three groups. And I'll start the same way I did before, making sure to stop when I've dealed out all 19 dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, just one dot left. I can't put it in any of these groups or they will not be even. I'm going to set it off to the side, 19. Now I can see that the answer or quotient is still six. I have six dots in each of my groups, but this time I have a remainder. I have one left over, so I have a remainder of one. Let's take a look at one more strategy for solving basic division problems. This time, we're gonna use fact families to help us solve. So once again, let's start with 18 divided by three. Instead of drawing this or using the gems to model it, I'm just gonna think of a multiplication fact to help me solve it. Remember that multiplication and division are opposites, so I can rearrange the numbers in a division problem to make a multiplication problem. Instead of thinking 18 divided by three equals what, I'm gonna flip the numbers around and think three times what equals 18. And if I know my multiplication facts like I should, I know that three times six equals 18. So if three times six equals 18, that means 18 divided by 3 equals 6. These two equations are in a fact family together. We can also use fact, use fact families to solve a division problem with a remainder. It's just a little bit trickier. So let's take a look at our other division problem, 19 divided by 3. And let's think about using a fact family here. So the problem is 3 times nothing is 19. I can't fill in this blank like I could for 18 because three is not a factor of 19. There's nothing I can multiply by three to get 19, but I can get close. Let's think about our multiples of three and how close we can get to 19. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, oh, that's too much. 18, that's as close as I can get to 19 without going over. And that is three times six. Three times six got me to 18. I just need one more to get to 19. That is my remainder. 